Guys, last night I was robbed and everything's gone. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker. Um, long story short, um, Last night around 11.58 p.m., uh, I was robbed. Uh, it was a home invasion, like six people. Um, all of them had bigger uh, guns than I had. Uh, they basically took everything, including my firearms, my silver, gold, everything. Um, all I literally have left of my entire stack is uh, this crab. So basically what, you know, happened is I heard a knock at the door I saw something on my camera uh, they kicked it in I'll show a picture of it right here and uh, came in and proceeded to take everything you know I should have really listened to all of you in the comments telling me over the years not to show my stack that I was gonna get robbed I was an idiot um, you know because it happened and believe it or not the robbery the robbery only lasted about two minutes uh, once it was over, I looked at the clock and realized it was midnight, exactly, well, 12.01, meaning that it was the next day, which is April 1st, which means April Fools! I didn't get my silver stole, I didn't get my gold, got him, but I'm going to turn this video into something good and give you guys some advice on how to safely stack uh, so you don't actually experience this story in first hand. My little uh, silver crab here will help me. Um, so I'm going to hit a few quick tips for any stacker, and then I'm going to hit a few extra tips at the end for YouTubers. So if you're a YouTuber, you don't want to log off. You want to watch till the end. So number one, this is based off a real story. If you're buying privately online, meaning eBay, Facebook, the forms, anything like that, and if you're buying it from another person, right? I'm not talking if you're buying from Scottsdale Mint or Scottsdale Mint's eBay or whatever. I'm talking you're buying from another person. Never, ever, ever use your home address. Always use a PO box or some alternate ad address. Never do that. There was a stacker I made a video with, and I've done a video on, on the story. I'll just do it super short. Long story short, he was on the on uh, Facebook. You can get really good deals on there. Uh, he wanted to buy some gold. Uh, he wrote a check and mailed the guy's check. What's on your checks? Well, obviously, uh, your address. And you know what, I realized that was really boring, so I put some cool pieces of silver in here for you to look at while I tell the story. So what's on your checks? Obviously, um, your address. Long story sh short, he never got the gold. Um, and he awoke to two armed guys breaking into his house, breaking into a safe, and he got in a gunfight with them with his AR-15. Uh, shot one or two of them. Anyways, the guys got caught, but it was a lot of drama legal issues and, and long story short didn't get charged or anything, but Could have gone really wrong. He could have died his family, etc. He could have gone to jail You know when you're in the heat of the moment you might not weigh like the le legal implications or anything perfectly. Okay, so That's lesson one number one and really quick. I forgot to mention if you're buying privately in person Go to a police station. Look up your local police stations. Many of them have parking areas with cameras and everything set up just for these exchanges. And make sure the person you're buying from knows you're going to be meeting them at a police station to buy it. And that should help weed out a lot of the potential uh, dangers there as well. Lesson number two is do not tell a soul. Do not tell a soul you're stacking. It's fun to stack. It's fun to prepare. You want to share the message with other people to help them. But be careful. Who knows? Like, that's why my channel is completely anonymous, because I don't want people to know I have a bunch of bullion or whatever, right? I don't want people in my personal life knowing. Now, obviously, some people are going to need to know, like, your immediate family. Um, if you have kids, you're going to have to figure out how to tell them about your collection, but that, you know, not to tell anyone type thing. You're just going to have to figure that out. Um, but nobody else needs to know. And I'm not saying your friends or your family are going to rob you. But what I'm saying is you might have a friend or someone who knows and they might make a comment to someone acquaintance they have. Hey, you know, so and so they're so smart. They're putting all their money into silver and gold. It's really cool. They have bars and stuff. I need to do start doing that. I need to be smart. And the person goes, oh, that's cool. Who's, who is that? 
oh, that's neat, I need to do it too. And then either they rob you or they tell friends that rob you, etc. Um, so be careful. Friends can leak information by mistake and it can have horrible consequences on you. Also, I want to say is if someone already gets into your house, safes are easy and obvious targets. A uh, couple reasons I don't like safes that are obvious is one, they're obvious. Two, if the person breaks in, they can't get in the safe. They might just decide to come back with some friends and tools to get in that safe at a later date. Three, they find your wife and they find Mrs. IS or whoever. And Mrs. IS, if you're watching, I'm still looking for you. I know you're out there. I know you're out there. Um, anyways, um, they might just say, hey, uh, call your husband. Unless I get the, the combo to the safe, I'm going to start cutting off fingers, right? Stuff like that can happen. Um, now, safes that are hidden, safes that are in walls or floors or tables or whatever, those are great, okay? Um, also too, though, if you get a safe, be careful in the company you're getting to deliver or and install the safe. Obviously, if you have guys come in with a big safe, they might say something or talk something. There's been stories in the past. So just be careful. The less people that know about a safe, the better. Um, also too, do not trust safety deposit boxes. Most safety deposit boxes do not have insurance if they're stolen. So banks are FDIC insured, what, up to 250,000, I think. Um, which means you're covered if your money is in an account or stolen, a bank robbery, et cetera, et cetera, that way. But safety de deposit boxes in most cases are not covered, meaning someone breaks in and takes it, you're done. I've also heard stories of people paying on safety boxes and just coming in, they're completely empty, and the bank had like emptied it out by mistake or something crazy happened. All kinds of crazy stories with safety deposit boxes. Just look on YouTube to find some of those. Now, if you're a YouTuber, be very, very careful on live streams on home networks. You hear about streamers, you hear about gamers um, getting swatted. Well, that's because people can look at information through your connection, your IP, etc. Figure out who you are from different clues um, and then dox you. So for me, for instance, I never connect or live stream or do anything on my home network. Um, I always do it on separate networks and I have a good VPN. You want a good VPN for your computer, it's called a virtual private network. Um, not only does it help uh, secure that concern, but also too, it helps to block tracking of your browsing and ad stuff and all kinds of things like that, okay? So, yes. Three, always remove the entire label when you're unboxing. I've seen people just mark out the address, but they leave the barcode or QR code. I've seen people just put lines through it, but it's still visible. Um, I've seen partial barcodes and you know partial barcodes. It's possible to still read some of them So be very careful. So long story short either flip the package upside down if you want to be lazy and never flip it back or Remove the label completely. Don't just black it out with a pen and um, A major one for me especially in this video I'm about to drop tomorrow the world's largest coin over four kilograms in weight can't be you can't no I guess that's crazy well it's coming out tomorrow and that's not April Fools I'm not saying it's the world's largest coin but it's something mega but watch out for reflections uh, reflections in windows metal different things and I've caught things before in editing and live streams I've seen some things uh, and all my viewers are awesome and will let me know if they see something sketchy but watch out for reflections um, if you're a YouTuber and stay anonymous. Nobody needs to know what your face looks like. No one needs to know what your name is, okay? Once you put your name and face out there on the internet, it's out there forever and forever people are gonna think you have gold and silver. Maybe you're into it now and in 20 years you stop and then people see your videos and go, oh, that guy lives down the street from me. He's 75 years old, well, let's go rob him, right? So my recommendation is with stuff like this, always um, stay anonymous. I know some of you don't, but I would always stay anonymous. Where that could change is if you, you know, if I end up getting hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers and I'm making a complete empire and living off a channel and I'm not worrying about normal work, then I might consider, you know, doing that. But until that time happens, which I don't know if I'm going to get a million subs for a gold and silver channel. Although shout out to Silver Dragons. He just hit 100K. 100,000 subscribers, which is fantastic for a stacking channel. I mean, back in the day, the biggest number was like 20K. So uh, he blew by that. So a big congratulations to him. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick rundown off the top of my head. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Let me know in the comments below if you've ever been robbed for gold and silver or anything else. I'm interested in your story. Uh, let me know if you ever had a close call. Let me know if you think my recommendations are off base. And let me know if you have recommendations I missed. By all means, this is not an extensive list. But thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with the 65 seconds of pure terror thinking that all my silver and gold got stolen. Smash the like button. Leave a comment below. It helps me a bunch. Subscribe. If that button is, is red, you're not subscribed. 80% of you are not. And I guess I'll say... Catch you on the next one. Woo! One stacker.